Hello YouTube, LD50 here, back with another video and today we are going to take a quick look at my second version of the castle uh, <coughs> excuse me, this is built with uh, some mods um, I'll leave a link in the description of the video but uh, broadly it's the USO suite of mods um, QWAPA for Place Anywhere um, a variety of other small um, workshop item mods uh, some creation club stuff um, and uh, a few other bits and pieces but um, I'll leave a link in the description anyway uh, moving forward we're getting a little bit of haze um, but uh, we'll fix that when we go inside so moving up to the main entrance um, we'll do the outside first and then we will go inside um, afterwards so um, We'll go the boring way first just to see what's around there so you can see the wall repair uh, and then we'll go and do the interesting side which is the wharf uh, and then we'll go inside. So uh, main entrance is on this side. Um, obviously there's a spawn point I think down there. Uh, as you can see we've just had uh, uh, a little attack but uh, plenty of defences up here on the um, above the main entrance. Uh, got a tank over here uh, that was put on, uh, put on an angle using Q Whopper and the tilt mechanic um, something I've just found out about uh, using uh, but it does allow you to place objects at different angles uh, so we'll go along this way just so you can see the uh, this uh, side of the repair uh, we've used the standard concrete blocks they're the ones that I think look the best rather than the um, concrete build set reskins. Um, I, I actually prefer using the vanilla blocks for this. Um, we've left pretty much everything the same around here. And then on this end, we have um, obviously filled in the wall and this. Uh, is just a, a gun emplacement to protect this end of the uh, of the castle. It's pretty much the same as the entrance side, but doesn't have an entrance in it. And then round this side, this is our. Uh, it, water treatment plant is in the bottom and some more accommodation we'll access that from the uh, from the top and I'm going to have to swim round here uh, that's some electricity that is feeding the um, water treatment which is in the basement of this building And then on this side we have our Brahmin pen. Sadly there's no item for the PS4 that allows you to have a closable gate. Um, yeah, I've always found that thought that was a bit of a shame. Um, but never mind, it is what it is. So yeah, we've got a little Brahmin pen up here. Uh, we've sank a prefab into the ground a little bit to provide some shelter at that end and this end, you know, with some hay, hay storage and, uh, you know, water for the Brahmin. So we're trying to make it, you know, fairly immersive. And then on this side, we have our little wharf uh, in my head cannon here. This castle is now um, functional and so the Minutemen have built a little wharf here where you know boats can pull up maybe somebody can do a little bit of fishing
and we've just used some console pieces in here when I did this build <coughs> excuse me um, I didn't have access to anything that constituted a steering wheel of any sort um, I believe uh, that I do have a mod now installed that has something like that but I haven't been back and revisited this build I'm happy with it as it is um, it's similar to the way that the uh, boats are kitted out in the actual Commonwealth when you come across a, a boat so there we go that's the little control room of the boat Um, it, it's a two level wharf here so there is a, a lower level here as well for uh, you know rowing boats and stuff in case they want to take this little skiff out and obviously a couple of uh, life boys up here because not everyone can swim uh, these life preservers are hanging on uh, what is actually a clothesline uh, but for me this works quite well to hang the the boys from <coughs> excuse me right we're going to go into the main part of the castle now these are spotlights up there um, but I don't know if you are aware that there is a little bug with spotlights that when you travel away and travel back sometimes the spotlights will go out so we have a little switch inside to turn them off and on again because that's the easiest way to uh, to clear the clear the bug but we'll let ourselves in with this uh, two-way electric door and here's the spotlight control and then our spotlight should be back on yeah there we go and a uh, little security camera here uh, we do have the um, creation club um, I can't remember what the uh, the module is called but it's the one that allows you to have um, settlement raids and stuff so it comes with security cameras that you can uh, view through a screen Obviously we can shut our door from the inside for added security. Okay, so let's move forward into the main part of the castle. So I wanted to re completely redo the inside of the castle um, and make it uh, a bit smarter. Um, so we have used some mods that allow us to remove things you wouldn't normally be able to remove in vanilla gameplay uh, which meant that we could um, remove that uh, shack that surrounds the uh, tower there and then we had space to obviously build this nice uh, quarters here this is the accommodation for the Minuteman General himself um, we will go and have a quick look We've got some kitty cats for happiness. And in my head cannon, this is where, you know, the Minuteman General does his, uh, conducts his business. And people to the castle might, uh, you know, be visiting and would require somewhere to wait. So this is a little waiting room for uh, castle visitors, people that have made an appointment to see the Minuteman General. Sadly, frame rate does go quite badly on the PS4, particularly when um, panning from left to right. Uh, so, a little security desk where, <coughs> excuse me, you'd get signed in, uh, you know, to see the uh, to see the general or conduct any other business. And then down the back here, we've got uh, a bit of a control room where, uh, you know, Minuteman business would be conducted I like to think that they've upgraded the transmitter and it's no longer just a static broadcast you know but uh, they do other sort of intelligence work here keeping an eye on the uh, on the Commonwealth 
So here is where the shack normally sits above and obviously we've managed to take that away and build this uh, building around it. There's our vault management system. And this is power for the settlement. Uh, we've also used a uh, move that workshop um, mod that allowed us to move the uh, workshop bench over to here, away from where it normally is. And this here is the view set for the security cameras, so uh, we can do that now. We'll take a moment while it loads in. There we go, and that's the camera that we can see out the front. So we only have one camera set up at the moment, but um, we just wanted to make sure it worked, and I think that's sufficient for this particular settlement. At some point, I may put some cameras around other settlements. Uh, with this mod, uh, it allows you to um, see any camera in any settlement from any viewer. Okay, we'll go upstairs and have a little look at the general's quarters. <coughs> Excuse me. So we've got a continuation of the uh, intelligence gathering theme up here with um, some more sort of consoles and stuff. And we have a nice view down over this balcony to where the broadcaster sits for the Minuteman radio. And obviously we've had to glitch in this particular floor piece um, so that it you know fitted through the radio uh, and didn't look too untidy. So Minuteman General's quarters. Uh, we've used the Art Deco uh, build set, furniture set for this. And of course, the general has, <coughs> excuse me, general has his a, a private a bathroom facilities. You may notice that this bath has water in it. That is an effect that is added by USO Suite. Um, <coughs> now I've figured out how to use it. I think it looks quite good. It uh, um, provides some immersion. It also works uh, on the Brahmin troughs that are bath shaped as well. Um, so you can set it up to look like the Brahmin are drinking out of the bath. A 
and then out the front here the general has uh, you know somewhere he can take the air or have a seat contemplate his next maneuver and this platform goes all the way around um, and gives access to the roof um, access to the roof is mainly to be able to turn on and off the beacon this is a recruitment beacon that is in this shape rather than the normal shape um, it's added by one of the mods I, I forget which one but it function, uh, functions as a recruitment radio beacon and you know just looks uh, a little bit more uh, a little bit different to the usual one so from the top up here we'll have a scoop round so you can see the uh, ramparts So on three sides we do have these emplacements where there are uh, power armor stations or displays um, in the head, my head cannon. This is you know where the fortifications are, so people run there to get their power armor to repel any invaders. Uh, one thing about the castle here as well is I use it for my NPCs. So we have Kate over there on guard duty and uh, Nick is here somewhere as well uh, and when we get to McCready hopefully you'll have a little chuckle so there's McCready down in the stocks because I'm not a big fan of McCready I find him to be um, slightly objectionable and so I always put him in the stocks This is just a dummy item uh, for decoration, but it you know it gives a slight contrast to that one. And you know if it's intelligence gathering, it should be um, you know receiving as well as broadcasting. So we like to think this is some sort of uh, receiver. Perhaps it still communicates with satellites. Uh, perhaps after the war, some of the satellites are still up there. Uh, the geostationary ones wouldn't have uh, their or their orbit wouldn't have decayed. Uh, so perhaps it's something to do with that, who knows. Okay, now we'll do a little tour of the courtyard before we go inside the castle itself. Uh, we might as well start off here, we're at the greenhouse. So a little greenhouse with some uh, crops inside. Um, I'd like to think they've started some hydroponics as well so we have these hydroponic um, units on the wall that we've uh, glitched in some plants to make it look like they're growing there they uh, they don't function as plants uh, but uh, you know as crops or anything they're just decorative plants and a decorative table added by one of the mods I've got some harvested potatoes. So that's our little potato greenhouse. Uh, in the corner here, obviously, we have our trader caravan post. And a couple of seats for them to sit down on, and a cooking station for them to cook a bit of food up. Uh, now, next, we have our clinic and cafeteria. Uh, we like to think that you know this is a modern castle. The Minutemen are providing a good uh, service in the Commonwealth, and therefore they have to have a swanky uh, headquarters. So they have a decent clinic and surgery. So there's our little clinic with our doctor. Lots of reference books and uh, medical files, 
few toys to entertain any children should they visit and some medicines and stuff and then in here we have our little ghoul surgeon so I like to think this is like <coughs> excuse me a little hospital room a couple of gurneys and some oxygen stuff run by robots Then next door we have the cafeteria. With our glitched in, <coughs> excuse me, glitched in barbecue uh, with a glitched in campfire underneath. These counters come pre-decorated and are added by one of the mods. Possibly s'mores, I'm not sure. And then we've got a Slocum's Joe coffee machine stand. Um, that has a bookcase glitched over the top of it so you know it looks a bit more just like a coffee station without the Slocum's Joe branding and some nice clean Nuka posters on the wall so outside here we have a little seating area with a stone table And this is our workshop repair shop. Um, sorry, power armor repair workshop. Over here, just got some gas canisters and some other clutter. And this is where our main workbenches are for crafting, chemistry, weapons and armour. These shelves come pre-filled and are I want to say workshop decorations pack, but I might be wrong. It's one of the mods anyway. Uh, now I think we will take a look inside. And we'll do the ramparts last. Maybe constantly trying to kill us, but the Commonwealth never lacks for excitement. So, uh, at one end of the internal structure, we have uh, a little armory that's accessible, obviously, from the stairs. So, in our head cannon, this is where you know the backup weapons are kept, more ammunition, and uh, you know nukes for the uh, fat men. And then we've got some Minutemen accommodation. So barracks for the troops. Uh, we have Sturgis on the general store. This counter here is added pre-decorated by a mod and then you must use a um, mat. He's actually stood on a mat, you can't see it there but it is uh, below him. What's up? Uh, so the vat, the mat acts as, acts as a shop.
And then we've got Piper on the clothing store. And obviously being a Minuteman uh, headquarters, you can buy Minuteman uh, merchandise. Leave the bath for a week after we get out of here. Now what we have managed to do in here was to glitch some walls into a couple of these archways. Which has allowed us to put some private bathrooms in. And we've got two of these. So here's our weapons uh, vendor. Again, some of these shelves come pre-decorated from the mod. I quite like the rifle stand as well. Uh, this is our barber. I'm not sure if I have a barber assigned at the moment. Um, it was Nick for a while, but uh, he's decided to unassign himself. Uh, but when we get round to it, this will be where our barber uh, hangs out. Another Minuteman barracks room. Uh, then we have an armor vendor. And another bathroom. Another little armory at the bottom of these stairs. Rack of shotguns as well, I quite like that. And then a final Minuteman barracks room here. Finally, we have the bar. And we've glitched in some walls in here to provide a little private bathroom for the bar. Grumpy Macy Long, sorry Marcy Long, uh, who is our bartender. This bar is added by one of the mods, I think it might be S'mores, <coughs> excuse me, and obviously as you can see we've used a bar mat there, or a vendor mat, uh, which is a level 3 bar, so that the uh, settler will stand there and perform the bar animation and function as a bar vendor uh, so we have uh, obviously machines for happiness gaming machines because the Minutemen obviously need to uh, generate some income so visitors that turn up to the castle can come and have a drink and be relieved of their caps perhaps they might want to have a game of chess or uh, sorry uh, checkers so 
So that's the bar area. And finally we'll go up and have a look at the ramparts. So we can go and laugh and point at McReady. You stay there, boy. That's what you deserve. So this is the entrance that is, sorry, this is the uh, in gun emplacement or fortification that is in front of the entrance. <coughs> Excuse me. So, you know, a good view of that particular spawn point for defence purposes, four sets of power armour. And the same again on this side. Basically every every side on the wall, uh, every side where we had to repair the wall, we've uh, topped it off with this um, shack air end cap things uh, to create in, you know, fortification and then you know built above it to provide some elevated guard positions quick look down into the compound from this side oh didn't talk about the gym we also have a uh, fully functioning gym uh, we'll come back down to the gym So I think we're well fortified at this castle against the three sides that most attacks would be expected to come from. And then over this side we have the annex. Uh, which contains the water purification system and a lot more accommodation uh, but at the top obviously we've got a observation guard position can keep an eye on anything that might be coming seaward and anything that might be coming from the city that's our clear weather shell mortar And then in here we have two decks of barracks again. So Minutemen Barracks. And this is our clear weather shell switch. Just to ensure that we've got good weather for the rest of the tour. like they were going to be playing some chess uh, this is added by a mod um, I want to say workshop decorations pack <coughs> excuse me uh, but it comes as a table with the chess set and the clock already on it so we've got another deck downstairs with more Minuteman accommodation and uh, a preset table again from the same mod that adds the chess table uh, a pre-cluttered table that uh, comes from the same mod And then downstairs here we have a little private bathroom for this barrack block. Uh, 
and then in the bottom we have our water purifier generating I believe 40 water so nice and secure not going to get damaged in the event of an attack Okay, I think the last thing is to go back down into compound, we'll have a look at the gym and then we'll wrap it up I think. I wish more people could see this. Remind them what it's all about. Yeah, Preston is here somewhere. Good to see that Sturgis is getting a workout. So that's our little outdoor gym, uh, provides some happiness. There is actually a mat on the floor there, you can see. Uh, drop down and give me 20, so occasionally an NPC will get down there and perform some um, press ups. It's quite interesting to see when it happens. And there is dog meat. with his buddy so there we go that is my castle rebuilt it's in pretty good shape considering yep that's correct you are right there it is in pretty good shape so that's the castle build um, I will, as I said, leave a, a link in the description to the mods that I use. Uh, if you have enjoyed the content, uh, please leave me a like and consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, we'll be having another video coming out very soon, uh, which is going to be Ten Pines Bluff. So check the channel back uh, if you want to see more Fallout 4 settlement builds. I've been LD50, you've been lovely. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.